At a warehouse in Oakland's west side, two former Berkeley classmates, both business majors, are working hard on their vision to reconnect Americans with the food they eat. Back to the Roots, launched two years ago by Alejandro Felez and Nikhil Aurora, is repurposing used coffee grounds from local cafes to create grow-at-home mushroom kits sold at Whole Foods and other stores across the nation. They got the idea for their company when a professor mentioned during a lecture that it's possible to grow mushrooms in used coffee grounds. After six months of trial and error, their company was born. When we started Back to the Roots, it wasn't really a business. We had no business plan, no business model. We just became really passionate about this idea of turning waste into food in our local communities. Coffee grounds, it turns out, are a perfect medium for growing mushrooms. They are high in cellulose and other nutrients that oyster mushrooms thrive on. In just 10 days, three pounds of coffee grounds grow a pound and a half of oyster mushrooms. For their kits, the mud-like used coffee grounds are pressed to get the right moisture content. Then they are put into bags and seeded with mushroom spawn. So this stage right here is called inoculation. And once you're done with inoculating the kits, they have to be incubated. So we have an incubation room now in the back. And the incubation room is where the mushroom kits, after the spawn has been mixed into the coffee grounds, sit for about three weeks. And you can start seeing the difference um, in color even from you know, one, a couple days in actually, from a bag of like black fluffy coffee grounds to all the white you start seeing is the mushroom mycelium that's starting to grow from the spawn. The bags are then resealed and packaged for retail sale. Once home, folks cut open the front of the kit, spray with water, and watch the mushrooms grow. We're not really striving to be sustainable. Our business is sustainable by definition. We're taking another industry's waste and growing food on it. Each week, Back to the Roots collects 20,000 pounds of used coffee grounds from more than a dozen local Pete's coffee shops. Making use of what would otherwise be trash is not only good for the environment, it's helping the company's bottom line, they say. The Pete's partnership is actually developed in which we're, I mean, essentially they're premium waste collectors. We go into the coffee shops and pick up their waste every single morning. So we have a valet type service and uh, it was really exciting because they came back to us and said, you know, you, we're, you guys are providing us an awesome service, we want to pay you for it. So we're not only uh, collecting our raw material for free, but we're actually making a slight profit on it. Alejandro and Nick Hill work long hours typical with running a small business, but their hard work is paying off. In April, they moved from a 1,000 square feet space to a 10,000 square feet warehouse, and their staff has tripled in a year to 19 employees. After just two years, the company is already making a profit. But for Alejandro and Nick Hill, the real gratification comes from reconnecting people with growing their own food. I think with Back to the Roots, it's much more than just mushrooms, it's much more than just coffee grounds. I think what gets both of us so excited is actually building a brand that's going to embrace and connect people with their food um, and really kind of bring that connection back away from the whole industrial agriculture to really that local sustainable community based farming and um, it's a passion for food and it's something, it's such a bigger movement and uh, we're excited to kind of be a part of it. For the Wall Street Journal, this is Lauren Rutzer in Oakland, California.